Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a great weekend. I hope y'all enjoyed your weekend. It's your boy Travis at LOB Kennels. LOB Kennels, how y'all doing? Hey, um, I just want to get on here and do a little quick video. Hey, but let me do it. Let me say this. If you have not hit that subscribe button, hit it. If you have not hit that like button, hit it. If you have not hit that share button, please hit that share button. Share it with friends and family. If you have not hit that bell notification button, hey, you uh, won't be knowing what's going on here at LOB Kennels. We out here this morning letting them uh, use it and just get a little free time. They've been locked up all night. Um, I wanted to talk about this ABKC show uh, brawl that was that taking place. Um, Miss Dorothy, uh, that dude's mama did uh, raw food. She told me about the brawl. Then it came up on YouTube, and I actually seen the brawl. Uh, let me say this. I've never been to a dog show, right? And that video is not as, as encouraging to go to one. But I feel like everybody that was in that brawl should be ashamed of themselves. And the reason why I say that is because these dogs are the most misunderstood, deemed as the most vicious dogs available. Hey, we all know. Don't be doing that. Um, most vicious dogs available. And... Um, and and us as a bully community, bully family, we supposed to be breeding these dogs to better the breed, better temperament, um, correct stands, and all that good stuff. But the main important thing of breeding is great temperament, right? So they can be house dogs. And and ultimately. I feel like, how can we s try to change the name or try to change the outlook on these dogs if we can't even go to a dog show and show people that we can get along and have a good time? You know what I mean? It's, it's sad. You know, it's, it's truly sad that we can't go to a dog show, sit down, enjoy each other, have a great time, show show each other love, teach the youngins like me that don't know about a dog show or some stuff that we don't know, teach each other and show each other how to grow and grow fast. One thing about this bully, bully world is it's enough out here for everybody to eat off of. When I say that, I mean it's enough money out here for everybody to eat off of. You have a litter, yeah, you may drop one puppy for a lot less than what you wanted to sell them for, but it goes that way sometimes. But to be fighting over a trophy, to be fighting over a trophy is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Or whatever you was fighting over, I don't know. Somebody said it was for a trophy. But whatever the case was, it's ridiculous. We cannot prove to the bully, we cannot prove to the relic, regular community that the bullies are not vicious if we're sitting there acting like vicious people. We can't. You know, somebody recorded it, and unfortunately it went viral, and, and it's crazy. So, that's what I gotta say about the ABKC show. It's sad. I wish it never happened, but it did. And I hope... Hey, Angel... You're going too far, love. Come here. Um, it's sad, and I hope, you know, things change. But I did see Dave West. Uh, I did see Dave. Uh, hey, what's his last name? Wilson. I did see Dave Wilson uh, post about the ABKC shows now. Um, if you didn't know, no longer are exotics allowed. No longer are un unregistered dogs allowed. No, no longer are if your dog is not an ABKC, uh, if your dog is not ABKC registered, she is not allowed. Angel, 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 gentle, gentle. No longer is your dog allowed to the show from now on. If your dog is not ABKC registered, or if it's an exotic or a micro, if it's not deemed 
in the ABKC listings is not it, 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 it will not be available to go to the show last but not least I want to talk about something um, y'all pray and keep praying for my niece and her family they lost her dog uh, a couple days ago but and this is no knock on her or nobody because some people don't know if you have a dog there is one place you do not take a dog and I don't care what your situation is there's one place you do not take any dogs and I would never take my dogs there ever one place you don't take your dogs is to dog parks. Now, some people are big the difference. Some people take their dog all the time, and their dog do great. But every dog is different. Some people dogs are, are got a strong immune system, can fight anything it, it it comes up against. Some dogs does not have a strong immune system, and they just can't get there. Look, look, she barking at me. What's up, baby? But. The reason why I said it is because once Parvo gets into a dog, it is almost impossible to get it out. Once it gets on your yard, it sits on your yard for seven years. If you go to a dog park, you don't know who taking care of their dog, and you don't know who not taking care of their dog. So therefore, there could be Parvo at the dog park. Even if everybody that's been at that dog park that day, someone could have been there a year ago with Parvo, and it's still lingering. So, guys, be careful. Don't take your dog to a dog park. Um, take it walking in the neighborhood. Um, you know, find, find, find somewhere where it's safe, and you don't have to worry about parvo lingering. lingering. Um, to to protect your dogs. Don't do not take them to the dog park. Protect your dogs. Like you protect your children. These guys, I don't have a lot of yard again. I don't have a lot of yard. And I, I promise you, we're going to make this yard work until we buy our home. And once we buy our home, we're going to have a lot of yard for them to do whatever they want. So, you guys, this is Travis and L.O.B. Kennels. I just wanted to get this message out to you guys. Um... We did not make it to the dog show, unfortunately. I uh, had something else going on. Nubs is doing a little bit better. Her vet vets it is today. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to go check her out if she's doing better. I think she's doing a lot better than what she was. Um, and um, today we're going to get out and let Bruce run around up front with a collar on just to get some free legs. Uh, Nubs, right now, um... I got her to a bare minimum activity right now up until I find out what's going on. But, like I said, I'll drop it down below what's going on with her later. Um, I want y'all to do me one solid favor, one solid favor. Once you watch this video, do me a favor, and I may do a giveaway. I'll, 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 I'll contemplate on it. But everybody got to do me this one solid favor. Down below in the comment section, please leave happy birthday to my son, Tristan. Happy birthday, Tristan. That's T R I S T A N. If you're watching this video, do me that one favor, and then and you may be in a chance to win a little gift or something like that. Show him some love, you guys. He's seven years old. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Be safe. You guys, we finna head on in. And this is Travis at LOB Kimmels. Peace. We out.